So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal ornament pieces video for the Titans. If you guys don't know, we already have the Hunter one. It's right here. Do apologize that these videos have came out later than usual, but I've just been busy with trying to get the armor for the dungeon, which if I'm going to show you a bunch of videos right now, the Hunter's pieces is right here. And then the armor reviews for the Aphotic Lamalur, uh, whatever they, it's called the reviews right here and then these shaders is right here on the other side you have the dungeon pieces uh specifically the review and then the shaders as well i can't fit all of these I, I think i can fit five either way all of these videos are up right now and you guys can check it out definitely check out the reviews because i give you my thoughts and reviews and basically thoughts and some nitpicks i have about the armor for both of them but I also just have the shaders if you're interested to see what shaders go really well with them. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it. Other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be using the helmet and the arms. I think these two are the weakest pieces of the whole set. Uh, that being said, I still like what I did, but I will be honest with you guys and say I would probably switch the chest piece with something a little bit more aquatic thing just because not only are the arms in the helmet obviously from the same piece, but they're very aquatic themed. And I think I did a really good job with pairing it with the Frost Strike Greaves because it it kind of mimics that like feel for me. And then Dendrite Shimmer Mark, I think goes really well this as well. So I would just switch out the chest piece, but I ended up having that just because <clears throat> A, I found a really good shader that goes with the with the solar fl uh, flowers. And I will review this exotic soon. I have everything done. I just need to edit it, which I probably will do it after this video. But I like what I did with it. I do like the set that I made in the in the specific exotic video, but for this one, it's fine. Again, this one is just more of a like I needed to get these two pieces out of the way because the other sets are way better in my opinion. But we the, the shader is Vanguard con Constancy. If you are wondering to sh ch like pair the chest piece with the solar uh, flowers, it's a really good shader for it unless you don't like red and blue, but this is more like an orange blue. So that's why I'm like really not that bothered by it. So let me know what you guys think about the first one. Again, not the biggest fan of this one. The second set, however, I actually think is really, really cool for the helmet. A Pylos following helm is what we're using. The chest piece is what we're using for the actual ornament pieces. And then Dendrite Shimmer Grooves, I think is really, really cool when you combine it with the Enduring Conqueror Mark just because it looks really, really cool, especially when you see it as a whole. The Aphotic Limilar plate looks really, really cool when you combine it with the Dendrite Shimmer. And this one is funny because like, I've just noticed that I use a lot of the Aeon pieces for the Titans and the Hunter, not so much the Warlock, just because I feel like the Warlock's not that great. But it's funny because I just started noticing like, I have a lot of cool sets using the Aeons. And I don't know if I hate that or not. Specifically, this set, the only thing I really don't like about it is the fact that I'm using uh, Continuum Alloy, which is a shader that you have to buy. That's not the problem. Well, that is part of the problem. But the other problem is the fact that I'm using the Red Glow for the Aeons, which is not the one that everyone uses. So it's not really, really realistic. I think it's the blue one that they use. And if that's the case, just switch the shader for something that's blue. The problem with that, though, is that the Apilos Following Helm has a red so <clears throat> unless you're using like a red blue or something like that it's going to get really annoying so i at that point i would probably just switch out the helmet for something else but as like a fashion statement i think this looks really really cool it's just it's not very you like realistically usable because no one uses the red version of the aeon so that's why i'm like i love it it looks cool but it's definitely more fashion than realistic because again no one uses the red this next set would probably be my favorite just because I think every piece looks really, really amazing together. And for the piece, we're actually going to be using the boots of the actual ornament. And I think it looks amazing, especially with this set. Let's talk about it. I think Dead Dry Shimmer Helm looks amazing with this because the main focal color is gold. And Dead Dry Shimmer is going to give you that gold. The Frost Strike Grauntlets, again, really good choice with this one because the helmet is pointy and a lot of the pieces of the boots are pointy. And obviously these shoulder pads are really pointy. So I was kind of trying to go for that aesthetic for the star crossed heart. I think this one was amazing as well, just because again, the gold is the prevalent uh, color of this and new monarchy diamonds is a really good uh, gold for this. And I think it just looks amazing overall. And then the aphotic lemolar boots just looks amazing with this. My gripe, and I think I said this in the review video for this ornament is the fact that I think the boots look pretty terrible, uh, specifically like the actual feet. Um, which pissed me off because they could have just made it a stylized, uh, pointy boot, like everything else. I don't know why, 
but I don't know why Titans have this problem because they have a lot of boots that have this issue where it's like a lot of it's stylized and then, then just the feet are just fucking boots. I don't know why they do this. And then for the Mark Dragonfly Regalia is a really good choice just because it's organic, which is kind of the theme in this as well, because the, the chest piece has like an organic feel. Same thing with the boots. So I was just like, fuck it, we'll just throw Dragonfly Regalia in there. And there's also gray in there as well. So I was like, it fits really well with this whole setup. So I actually think this is one of my favorites. I for exotic, this is where it gets interesting because I don't know what I would use for an exotic, probably a helmet that's pointy. Uh, but overall, I think the set looks really, really cool. Let me know what you guys think about this one specifically. And then last but not least, we're going to be using the Mark. And this is where I like where my head's going. And this is one of those examples of kind of like showing you a work in progress, because I think everything in this piece looks amazing. I accept the Mark. I think the Mark gives the wrong message of what this look is trying to go for. So Thunder's Impact Helm, because we're using Sinking Feeling as the shader and Sinking Feeling has a lot of like electrical currents going around the armor. And I really wanted to go with that. The arms are going to be Dragonfly Regalia just because of the organic look of the shoulder pads. I think it's really cool. And then Celestial Plate, because I wanted something a little bulky in the back, but have fur in there. Don't know why it just kind of went with it. And I love how it came out. And then this is where it gets interesting because I made a catch killer grieve uh choice <clears throat> which immediately turned this whole set into a thor themed set i don't know why but it's probably because the hammer on the right side of the hip and immediately i was like this looks fucking cool and i added the aphotic lamellar mark just because a that's the video we're going for but also because on one side it's completely covering the like the left leg <clears throat> and the other one's not so i was like it it, it like it, it fits it fits the spot, but it's not giving me the right theme. So for this one, I definitely would just switch out the mark for something else that is covering the left side. Honestly, to be fair, I would probably just switch out the fallen themed iron banner set that we got a few seasons back. I think that one would be a lot better just because uh, I honestly, the bells, I don't think would look bad with it because the catch killer just looks all like ramshackled. So it would look actually really, really cool. And again, the problem with this one is I just don't know what exotic I would put with it. I would most likely put the um, the insurmountable skull fort. I think that one would be a really cool look and then put uh, sinking feeling back into the shader. The reason I don't have it for spectral indigo is because I didn't like the color combination that it had. So I went with spectral indigo because it fits almost perfectly to sinking feeling as long as like you don't look really, really into it. But that could be said for a few things. So that's pretty much it. I definitely love the third set probably the most, but I think the, the like potential of the fourth one is a lot better. Just the only problem again would be switching out one of the pieces for an exotic. So for me, I would probably switch out one of the helmets or one of the arms for like an exotic arm. And then the mark, I would completely switch it out for something else. So I definitely like these pieces. Um, that being said, I'm going to be real with you guys. I think the Warlocks probably have some of the most unique sets I've made, but I, I don't know. You're, you're going to, you're probably going to have to be the, the judge of that, but let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.